Today's world demands that we interact with computers. In education, employment, transportation, entertainment, or finance, computers and technology play a large role in everything we do. At the University of Maryland, research in the Human Computer Interaction Lab is transforming the experience that people have with new technology. The field of human computer interaction has been growing for 30 or 40 years. I would characterize it as the psychological study of human performance in the use of computer technology with the goal of understanding what works and what doesn't work. What works at Maryland is combining academic talent from across the campus. The lab came together bringing people from psychology and computer science and information studies. Something that we're really strong in in the lab is looking at interfaces and information visualization. How do you present information to the user? But we have people in the lab looking at the psychology of people and how they interact with technology. We have faculty members studying sustainability and technology. So how can you present information about people's, say, use of water or eco-friendly transportation? And does that affect the choices that they make? Some of our faculty, including me, study social networks. So how do people interact in a technology-based medium? And what does that allow them to do? And how do they interact differently than they might in real life? And how is it the same? Maryland research in human-computer interaction is always ahead of the curve. We were some of the first to identify and then use technology for hyperlinks that are widely seen on the World Wide Web. Other early projects studied how people would use emerging touchscreen technologies. I'm Ben Schneiderman and want to show you some of the work we've been doing in applying high-precision touchscreen techniques. Most people at the time believed that you needed big buttons, an inch square to be able to touch accurately. And we showed by using a new technique that you could actually touch very small buttons. And it's just that kind of keyboard that wound up here on the uh, Apple iPhone. Today, our faculty experts are taking on new challenges, including how students will use technology to improve their learning experience. One of the exciting things about all of this interest in technology and education is that it opens up a whole range of new research opportunities. Whether it is developing and applying new machine learning techniques to analyze how students are interacting with the technology to learn, looking at learning analytics, to helping develop this whole growing field of evidence-based education. And with big data and learning analytics, and machine learning and AI and interface design, computer science is in the center. We are also improving public access. With support from Google and the National Science Foundation, Maryland computer scientists are designing an interface to identify and digitally tag pedestrian obstacles for people using a wheelchair, walker, or cane. I think what makes human-computer interaction a unique part of computer science is held in the definition, human-computer interaction. It places human first. And I find that that embodies everything that I do. So I try to think about the human elements of systems. Whereas a lot of my colleagues focus more on the computer science, I try to have a mixture of both. And to do that, I need to work with end users. I need to work with, in this case, special populations, and also others that are domain experts. So people in disability studies or urban planning to better understand the kind of challenges that we're facing. Health-related research involves visual analytic tools that can literally save lives. With support from Oracle Health Sciences, we are working on software that allows medical professionals to analyze millions of patient records quickly and accurately. We see it as a telescope and microscope for, in this case, electronic health record data. From visual analytics in healthcare, to social media analysis, to interfaces that can transform the way we learn. University of Maryland research in human-computer interaction has always been one step ahead. Where will we be in five years? Come and join us to explore the possibilities.